So if you see the news today and the last few days, and I'm sure the next number of days, there's a lot of discussion about the energy crisis here in Australia. Prices of gas, of electricity are going through the roof, and of course people are concerned. And it's amazing, I was listening to the radio this morning, there's a lot of finger pointing. This person is responsible, this, this uh, government's responsible, everybody's trying to find out who made the mistake to get us into this mess. And I've heard little about how we're going to get out of this mess. A lot of speaking about who is to blame for this. Now, there's a very important message in our parasha, which I think it would be good if, if all of us listen to this at some point in our lives. It says that when the Mishkan was finished being established and set up, the Torah attributes it to Moshe Rabbeinu. It was the day that Moshe had finished erecting the Mishkan. And the commentators ask, one second, it wasn't Moshe who actually erected the Mishkan. It was done by Bezalel, the other craftspeople. Why Moshe is given the, the credit, if you like? And one of the answers is that Moshe, in a sense, was teaching us the truest way of taking responsibility. The Torah attributes it to him because ultimately he was responsible whether the Mishkan would be put up properly, correctly, whether it would be success or if there would be false mistakes. And the Torah shows us that Moshe, in fact, was taking accountability. If there was going to be a mistake, Moshe would have put his hand up and said, it was my fault, I now need to find a way to fix it. And so when it did complete and when it was done successfully, the Torah says, because you were prepared to take the faults, we're going to give you the credit. And I think in any sense of leadership, whichever format that finds itself, let us learn from Moshe Rabbeinu. That it's, it, it, it might be easy to point fingers and look at mistakes and say it was this person's fault, that person's fault. Moshe was telling us we've got to take full responsibility. We've got to take action. If there are things which are not right, if there are mistakes, then let us do something which we can to find a solution to it. And when you have that full responsibility, full, that full accountability, when things do work out right, then you will get the credit for it. Then Hashem will say, you know, this is somebody who has been a true leader in all senses of the word. So whichever format it might find itself in your life, make sure that, you know, if you've got the opportunity to fix something, to do something right, make sure you take the responsibility.